Now, here's a uh, very good example of how research uh, can get in the way, actually. We took this out to consumers, and the consumer said, well, you're saying uh, Avis is only number two. And if Avis is number two, they're not number one. If they're not number one, you're obviously not the best. Well, we looked at this research, and I think perhaps that uh, most organizations would have said that this is a dangerous campaign to run. However, we came to the conclusion that we should run it, and we uh, went ahead with it, and we probably ran one of the great, great money-making campaigns. But we started this campaign. This company was $3 million in the red, and about a year later, they were over a million and a quarter in the black. Now, what did this? Our campaign is not that we're number two. Our campaign is that we try harder. And we know that it's human nature to believe that if you're number two, you will try hard to get to be number one. It's the nature of uh, human beings to be ambitious and to try to get to the top. And people believed us. Now, in addition to uh, uh, believing that we are ambitious and want to get to the top, they felt we were the underdog. And people like to ally themselves with the underdog. They like to feel that they're helping someone get ahead. Now we're faced with uh, we're faced with Hertz's answer after three years. They've been quiet for three years, acting like number one should act. But now they. They've come out with, number two says he tries harder than who? And there's long copy on how he tries harder. And now we wonder what to do. We sit here, we've been sitting here for a couple of weeks now. Now the persuasion happens to be not a science, but an art. And so this thing that has been most suspect by business, this thing called artistry, ironically, is becoming the most practical thing in the world. Now, we pay about $50,000 a page in Life magazine for an ad, and you just watch, uh, if you go into an American subway and watch people reading magazines and flipping through these pages at $50,000 a clip, and you begin to understand uh, when I say that you are very practical if you have the artistry to stop people and make them look and make them listen. how the man who drives a snowplow drives to the snowplow. This one drives a Volkswagen. We will find in so much of our work a seeming disparagement, perhaps, of our own product. And we are perfectly willing to do that if in telling the true disparagement we get you to believe the other things we say in an ad. Here's a campaign that says, Till Death Do Us Part, and uh, it talked about the youngsters. As we say in the ad, we're not against sex, but we think it belongs in a certain place, not in the driver's seat. We are going to put a car on the roof of a 10-story building and then push it off to make a simple point. If you drive at 60 miles an hour and hit something, it's exactly the same as driving off a 10-story building. And it will get you to exactly the same place. The morgue. Our business is to sell you gasoline and oil, and we want you to be around to try them. We want you to live. I have often said this is the best layout we ever made. Here we are, starting in 1949 with about a half a million dollars worth of business, and going all the way up year after year without a year where we didn't grow, until last year we were $190 million, and this year we will be well over $200 million.